Okay, now we're going to talk about how to get credit, how to transfer your files over for credit. If you see here, I have, you know, Project Lab, and I put some files in here. You know, you can actually, this is like Windows, you can actually right-click on a file, put a folder in, call it Test. You can just actually right-click on it again, and you can delete it as well under Edit, Delete. Okay, yes, I want to delete it. So you can do the same things. Now, you have several ways. Let's say I was transferring this file called neighbors.html. You could open this folder up, and you can actually take it and drag it over this folder until you get that little arrow with the little plus sign underneath it. Let go. You see an arrow. It's transferring it. Okay. It was incomplete because somehow it's open. So I have to go make sure it's all closed. Okay. They're closed. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see if we can transfer projects. Okay, transferred that across. We're happy campers. Okay, you just take it and you drag it straight across. I don't know what was up on that one. There we go. We transferred. Remember, you got to make the connection to the internet by hitting this key. And if you don't see this file menu window or the management file management window, what you have to do is this little button right here, the collapse show and hide. You go right here. You click on it. It opens up. And you can transfer. Now, let's just say that for our first assignment, we had to turn in neighbors.html. That's not the case. I'm just using that file. So we were go to the class website, and we were go to assignments. We're going to turn it in. Let's say it's in chapter two, and let's just say it was a skills review. And we go next. Okay. We're going to scroll down. It talks about the hierarchy, which we're shown where you're seeing in black in um, Dreamweaver and there's some good little pictures of what's happening your path to folders how to figure out paths I even have some tutorials on paths okay if you look here the project folder is located here everybody has their own name so do not relate it automatically goes in there okay okay you can look at you know you we can look at the remote paths everything but this right here is where you start from and then we're gonna add from it do not delete so watch what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy this highlight it right click and copy okay I'm gonna go into a new tab I'm going to right click here and paste it we're not ready yet but I'm gonna slide this window down so you can see some Do you see the B neighbors right here or the neighbors B and they have neighbors B there well what I'm gonna do is just put I wanna to go to neighbors so first thing I have to do is go into chapter one chapter one you notice I use no spaces do not use spaces um, in your folders or names of files because it causes real problems and it has to be spelled correctly so that's that folder right here now we have to go into labs so we look and we go forward slash it means we're going into another folder called lab no s just lab slash neighbors.html so here we go spell it right neighbors.html now I want to hit enter voila look at it, it works so what I would do is I would take this, right click on that link, copy it, go into the class website, and here at the bottom, you can paste, and look at, there it is. There's the link, neighborhood, neighborhood, your name, and it'll be your last initial, chapter one labs, that's what I did. Now I insert project, and watch this. In this little box will show the HTML. If your HTML doesn't show, you did it wrong. Just go back and keep working on it. Okay, we're going to do another one right now. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to submit another project. Let's just say it's Chapter 5, and it's Skills Review, and I say Next. You notice at the bottom, this comes in. You can copy it. I'm going to go into a new file or a new window. I'm going to paste it here at the top. I'm not going to hit enter. I'm going to scroll this window down because we're going to do under projects the default HTML. So you all can look at this structure. Well, the file is in chapter. So let's close all this stuff. We know it's in chapter. So we type exactly the way it looks chapter one. Then it's in projects forward class projects. Oops, I spelled that wrong. It would not come up forward slash default dot h 
HTML. I know you see the word default was misspelled here, and it's not here. Watch what happens when I hit enter now. Cannot find the page. So let's scroll a little bit. Let's change the word default to the misspelling that I have. It is D-E-F-A-L-U-T dot H-T-M-L. Enter now. It works! So I take this, I right click, I copy it, I go back into our class, and I paste it in this text box. So you see, this part right here is always the same. This relates to whatever folders you call it. If you don't call it Chapter 1, you call it Chapter A, or you call it Unit 1, that's okay. Just make sure that these files match your hierarchy structure on the remote server. Okay? Because if it's not, you're going to get a page not found. And remember from my lesson, if it's misspelled, you will not, you will not see it. It's got, it's got to be exact. Okay? So go ahead and practice with that. Turn assignments in, okay? Once you hit insert here, you'll notice you'll start getting emails from me that I received it. Again, the big thing here is this box shows that what the what the HTML will look like, okay? And then all of a sudden, you're done, okay? If you have questions, call me during my office hours. We'll work on this. We'll watch this video. Usually, it's something small. Either you can't make the connection or you have something misspelled, or you put a space. Remember, spaces are dangerous. Don't put any spaces in file names and file folders, okay, on this remote or local. You notice I don't have any spaces, okay? So go ahead, play with this. Let's see what we can do.